This is a great, great day for me here at the assembly. I came to deliver my maiden speech and also to launch the, or rather to open the assembly uh, officially. I'm honored to have been here, um, received very well by both the speaker, the clerk, and all the members for that matter, and indeed the staff of the also assembly. I'm very grateful for a very, very great reception. Number two, before I proceed, um, let me also say a word um, on the developments or some of the developments that took place earlier uh, in the week or earlier in the last few days. Uh, one of them, which I must mention, is the, the, the national government cabinet by our president, and we must thank him and appreciate him for appointing one of us from Garissa County as the uh, defense minister. That is not any mean appointment, and we're not taking it for granted. We are indeed very, very grateful as the people of Garissa County. Um, in as much, I want to say a big hungera to my, my, my friend, uh, my brother uh, Dwale, but also I must really, really thank and appreciate the president for that kind, kind, um, you know, uh, positive uh, move uh, for our son. Um, in terms of uh, today, we of course, um, I, I, I did present or basically shared my uh, speech with the assembly and, and of course we are talking about uh, a development agenda for the next five years, God willing. Um, I, I can foresee, I'm indeed uh, humbled by what I can see as a very great um, um, a county, uh, assembly rather, uh, an assembly uh, comprised largely of young men. Uh, a young also speaker for that matter, um, and, and for that matter, I believe that we are looking forward to a great, great working relationship uh, with the team of uh, these five years, so that we bring uh, back, uh, you know, um, a lot of developments to our county. In terms of matters of, of uh, um, drought, um, obviously uh, that's something we are dealing with. Uh, you know, um, unfortunately, um, we we are passing or going through hard times, as we all know. Um, as county, uh, as governors, uh, we are, um, you know, uh, doing everything possible within our capacity to help our people, whether it's water tracking, whether it is uh, support with food, whatever we can do. But um, the enormity of the, of the of the drought is huge, and therefore, we find ourselves in a situation whereby uh, we keep wanting uh, support in any way possible. Um, I, for one, I also have the additional responsibility of being uh, the chair of the Council of Governors ASAL Committee, which of course also then uh, for that matter gives me the additional responsibility to ensure that we do everything possible to help our people and indeed that is where I am. We're trying our best, we'll keep trying our best, um, meetings after meetings to see what we can do for our people as we deal with one of the worst droughts. I mean uh, we have the key issues we are facing, uh, mainly uh, the challenges rather, uh, are many but one is that, first of all, um, um, you know, this is the, the fifth sort of uh, failed rains, which is terrible for our people. And then also, secondly, um, the, the challenge we're facing is it is coming at a time when we also, as new governors, are in transition. And therefore, we do not yet have the necessary support, budgetary or otherwise, that will have helped us in this matter. 